Hello and welcome to the shop. Please excuse the background noise. It is 88 degrees here, which isn't really hot, but it's about 98% relative humidity. So it is miserable if you do any moving around at all outside. So I've got to have my portable AC running. Um, what I'm going to do today is a redo of an older project. I don't remember how long ago it was. I'm going to guess three, maybe four years ago. I made some non-stick bushings for my lathe for finishing pins with CA. And those bushings have served me well. I've been using that same set ever since. However, recently, I lost one of them in the shop. I'm down to three. I don't know what the heck I did with them. Now, it <laughs> hadn't been a problem because I've been doing a lot of uh, single barrel pins, but I really need to go ahead and make myself a new set. Plus, over the years, I'll trim them up and they've gotten smaller and I really want to kind of have a little more meat to them. Um, and, and more of an angle. The, the, the fatter they are the, the, and the longer they are, the more angle I can put on them so that I can fit inside of larger tubes. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Here's a quick shot of those three remaining bushings. And you can see just how wore out they are. This one's got a very thick layer of CA on it. You just pop that with a tool handle, it'll peel right off. They're pretty worn and it's time. They've served me well, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make a new set today. I've got a rod of UHMW, that is ultra high molecular weight plastic, and I've made two marks on it. And what I'm going to do is cut two slices, and it's wide enough to where if I split it down the middle, I can actually get two bushings out of each slice. With my two sections cut from my UHMW blank, I've divided one of them in half. I'm going to cut this on the bandsaw and will turn a single bushing out of each half of this blank. My center bushing, I've decided to make one bushing that will angle down on both sides. I think it'll make more sense as we get a little farther into the project. It was quite a chore cutting this material on the bandsaw. As the material heated up from being cut, it began to sort of stick together. I really had to had to fight it to get it through the saw, uh, cutting from both sides and even flipping it over and cutting from both sides on the back. I finally got it and now what I want to do is I've chucked up a quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to go ahead and drill a quarter inch hole through each of these blanks and then I'll drill a quarter inch hole all the way through the center of the third blank. With my holes drilled, I've gone ahead and drawn a couple lines on each of these blanks and the idea is I'm going to take them back to the bandsaw and knock these little wings off. It'll make them a little easier to turn if I go from square than if I go from this, this odd um, semicircle shape. I'll be back in a minute and we'll get these on the lathe. With my blanks squared up, I'm now ready to get them on the lathe and turn them into combs. I've got my UHMW blanks chucked up and I'm ready to go ahead and start turning them into the conical shapes that I need for my nonstick bushings.
all three of my blanks are trued up. It's time now to start shaping them. And what I plan to do, I have better luck with my skew uh, angling from left to right. So I'm going to take, take each of them down uh, from the left to the right. And then this one I'll flip over and do the other side. The two bushings on the ends are complete. I just need to rub them on a little piece of sandpaper just to clean up both the front and the back and they'll be ready to go. I held off on this one because quite honestly it's just too long. I'd like to trim it to about here and then make my double cone shape. And the reason why is if you're turning a pin that has two barrels, um, something this large is really gonna limit the ability to get it on the uh, mandrel. So we're gonna shorten this up. I cut this blank down to a more manageable size. I think this is gonna be about perfect. The piece that I cut off, and I just used the bandsaw to cut it, is the absolute perfect size for a bushing. So if I do end up losing one of these, I can always replace it by turning this one down. I neglected to turn on the camera for this last bit of turning, but quite honestly, you really didn't miss anything. All I did was angle this down to the bushing. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is get these off the lathe, and then we're just gonna swirl them on a little bit of sandpaper just to clean them up. I really like this new configuration with the single center bushing, and you can see, even with my old worn out bushings, how much additional space would have been taken up by having to butt two bushings back to back. I was in the house today editing the video for the nonstick bushings and I got down to the end of the video and I realized I never stopped to record a closing. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love these bushings. I'm really excited about this new three-piece design. Someone suggested this to me a long time ago. It wasn't my original idea right after I made them, but I had already made them and I thought, man, I'm not going to make another one. So I've been using them for years and they have worked great. I absolutely love them. Occasionally, I'll get other turners who will tell me they don't work, you know, don't waste your time. But you know, they, they work for me. And, and I always say if something works in your shop and it's safe, then it's the right thing to do. And if it helps you make a good pin, it's definitely the right thing to do. So stick with it. And I love my nonstick bushings. Um, I'm glad I took the suggestion from whoever it was. And I apologize, I can't, I can't give you a shout out. Uh, but thank you if you remember who you were, because it was probably three years ago that I got the suggestion. Uh, but I really love this new compact design. One less bushing to keep track of. If you do a single uh, tube pin, you just leave the middle one out. It's perfect. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this video. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful day.